Well, Chris, former New Jersey Governor Chris Christie is about to launch his second presidential campaign with an official announcement in New Hampshire tonight. But as WBZ's John Keller shows us, the White House may not be his ultimate goal. They say I endorse Donald Trump for president of the United States. Chris Christie in 2016, just a couple weeks after flopping in the New Hampshire primary. Since then, he's morphed from Trump sycophant to Trump critic, and voters in New Hampshire and elsewhere have noticed. Chris Christie's getting in this just to attack Trump. Um, I think I don't think he has any real goals at trying to become president. Christie proved the last time he ran he can be an effective attack dog to the dismay of Marco Rubio. You weren't even there to vote for it. That's not leadership, that's truancy. No one is asking Chris Christie to run for president. But New Hampshire primary expert James Pindle of the Boston Globe says it's about seeking relevance, not winning. He is actually in a very unique position. Uh, when you ask Republicans who you would never support, uh, he is number one. So why is Christie jumping into a race he likely can't win? The same could be asked of the growing list of likely no-hopers, including former Vice President Mike Pence, who is deeply unpopular among Republicans, and the governor of North Dakota, Henry Winkler lookalike Doug Burgum. And what about presumed threat Ron DeSantis? The latest CBS poll places him in Trump's rearview mirror. And while New Hampshire Republicans may be the most skeptical of Trump among the early primary states. He's one of the few winners they've picked in the past few cycles. It's been pretty difficult uh, to see uh, how New Hampshire directly impacts who the nominee is. So are these candidates hoping Trump really might falter or do they have other motives? Well, Paula, look, it's a mix. Uh, I could say that some, like Christie, are just trying to be relevant again. Others are trying to peddle a book or boost their speaking fee. But I'm not going to say that. I'm going to be charitable and nice and say they all sincerely believe they bring something to the table no one else offers. But, you know, Trump critics like New Hampshire Governor Chris Sununu say the crowded field guarantees a Trump-Biden rematch that the Republicans can't win. He might be right. Trump's preferred candidate blew a winnable U.S. Senate race in New Hampshire last fall, but that candidate got there by beating Sununu's choice in the primary. So that's the reality of it, that they all have to face. The GOP primaries are Trump's world. They just live in it. All right, John Keller, thanks so much, Chris.